What's up, Fay family? Jarvis Gunn and Void Jarvis YT here, and welcome back to another Diecast Review. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Hot Wheels 1968 Plymouth Barracuda Formula S. Now, while this car uh, was produced in 2016, I'm not entirely sure which line that it debuted in. I can't find that right now. But two things right off the top. One, uh, this episode almost didn't happen because I could not find this car for the life of me. First, I thought it was in my actual car. Because I had been keeping it there for a while. No, it wasn't. I looked in my bag. No, it's not there. Uh, looked everywhere for this thing. Then I decided to look in my uh, in my big tub of die cast, and there it was. I'm not I'm not sure what goes through my mind sometimes, but anyway, this episode is happening. Uh, thank God, because if I had to replace this with another car, um, I would have to do a whole new photo shoot for the thumbnail, which I really don't fucking feel like doing. But yeah, and uh, number two off the top, um, the Plymouth Barracuda is a very important car in Hot Wheels history because um, a version of the Plymouth Barracuda was one of the first Hot Wheels ever produced as part of the Sweet 16, the first 16 Hot Wheels ever produced. And while this isn't from uh, the original uh, 1968 original line of Hot Wheels cars, um, this is from the same year, so it does at least share that connection. And if you look up images of the original um, custom Plymouth Barracuda from the Sweet 16, uh, it, it, it was definitely less refined than this one. Because, I mean, back then they, they didn't even have like electricity. So how would you expect them to <laughs> properly design a die-cast car? But either way, moving on to this car, um, I will say that this, that this does look very cool. When it comes to classic cars, uh, the Plymouth Barracudas... And I guess just Plymouth cars in general, they, they've they always looked unique. And that's not even when it comes to classic cars. I've really never seen a Plymouth car that I didn't like. Honestly, bro. Even like the last cars that they ever produced, uh, the Plymouth Prowler and the Plymouth, uh, mostly known as Chrysler, uh, PT Cruiser. They, those are just really unique looking cars. And I think Plymouth has always had um, a knack for design. And this is no exception. This is just a really, really cool car. This is a super cool car. And I, I you know, I might just be saying that because of the decals, because the decals do look really nice on this, but man, you just can't go wrong with a Barracuda. I mean, just imagine rolling up to the club in this thing, man, ain't no doubt about it. This is a really well done cast for a really well done car i mean just look at this thing i mean i guess explaining why this is so good just sort of ruins it you know it's like reviewing like comedy specials like if you try to explain every joke and explain why it's funny then it just doesn't really work anymore and i feel like it's kind of the same way uh when it comes to die cast cars especially the ones as good as this one so yeah this is uh this is a bit of a brief review but this is just a really good looking car i mean i don't, I don't know how else to say it yeah, it's, it's built very well, designed very well, a very faithful recreation of the actual car. And, you know, I guess in a sort of roundabout way, it honors the Hot Wheels legacy of just making the Barracuda. So, yeah, this is some very cool shit. Um, this is a definite recommend. If you see this anywhere, this is, yeah, pick it up. Pick it up. It's always good to have a Plymouth Barracuda in your collection, you know, just sort of honor the originals. Even Even if you don't pick up the originals, it's just a good way to honor the originals, so... So yeah, pick it up for a good price. And with that, I think that'll basically wrap it up for this review. I've been your host, Jarvis Godden. Thank you all for watching. Uh, take care of yourselves. And as always, giggity, 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 goo. Stick around.